Roar! Ah, dinosaur! Or wait, Tom, is that you? And weren't you in Tokyo just last week? Yes, which is why I'm here to share my excitement of Japan and its classic movies. Awesome, can't wait for the sequel. Maybe you'll be the dinosaur and I'll be the scientist, Dr. Wong. Now, what are you going to be demoing today? Well, today I'm going to be demoing a custom machine learning API that leverages Google's ML APIs, vision, speech, translation, and natural language. But don't worry, it's not going to turn into a crazy chemical monster like me. It's going to be an easily integratable solution. Sweet, let's jump right into it. All right, so what you're seeing here on the left side is a video stream. This is actually using something called WebRTC, which is a real-time communication API released by Google. Uh, and it pretty much allows you to use the webcam in your computer and in your web browser. Uh, so we use those feeds to actually drive four different APIs. And the first one that you actually see is the Vision API. So two features that come out, that come out of the Vision API are uh, faces and labels. Now with faces, what we're actually using is the, we're trying to figure out the emotional state out of, out of your face. So if, if we smile, you're going to see that it says joy is very likely. Uh, so that's, it provides cool insight into kind of your emotional state of individuals that you find within an image. Another cool feature is labels. So labels pretty much identify different things that are found within the image. So in our case, you know, there's, there's a forehead or, or a socialite. Uh, so different a smile. <laughs> I finally become Kim Kardashian. Yes, that's ex exactly right. <laughs> uh, so, so you can use this to to help identify different things you may find within an image. So moving on to the next API, which is a speech API. What we actually did here was is we're using the streaming speech API, and we took the audio stream from the WebRTC video feed, and fed it through a through a WebSocket to our compute engine instance in the back end. And with that, what we can do is transcribe text in relative real time. So what that does is kind of, it pretty much opens up the door to the other APIs that are available through Google. So for example, maybe you want to do translation. Maybe it's, you're, you're speaking to somebody in a different language. So I was just in Japan. What if you needed to talk to somebody in Japanese? So with the speech API and translate, you're able to do this in a relative real time. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, so once you get into text, then you can use that as input for translation and NLP. Right, exactly. Now NLP, natural language, as I said, identifies different objects within your statement and figures out what, what kind of sentiment do you have around that. So uh, like, let's say for instance, I'm Godzilla, I love Google Cloud Platform you'll see that down on the bottom here, there's a whole bunch of different objects that it found important within that statement, the importance of those, doc of those objects, as well as kind of how you're feeling about it. Awesome, now we can tell just how much people love Godzilla and Google Cloud Platform. Wow, Tom, for a terrorizing dinosaur, that was pretty awesome. Yeah, I'm looking forward to creating more concoctions and demos in the future. Awesome, not sure if you're gonna be able to do that with your short stubby arms, but I guess we'll find out. Please comment, like, and subscribe below. And if you want to get in touch with us, check out the link in the description below.